Today we're learning Maya. Maya is a hands and knees pose. There are two different positions for the arms with this, so I'm gonna show you both, and we'll go ahead and get into this. This is a really nice one for decreasing intra-abdominal pressure because our head is lower than our pelvis. So we're getting a little bit, not upside down, but a little bit in towards that upside down position, and this can feel really nice if that's one of the things that you're looking for with the low pressure fitness. So you're onto your hands and knees. Hips are starting over the knees, okay? And notice that my feet are not here. You're tucking the, t the toes under, and you're really thinking about trying to lengthen. I'm pushing, almost like it would push me up, pushing out through those heels. Now, position one we're gonna try is just on the elbows here. Notice pelvis is neutral, I'm not arched, I'm not tucked. Head is lengthened, coming off of the trunk, but lengthened through the back, so I'm not arching or lifting my head up there. The activity through the arms is that your elbows are pushing into the floor and out against the floor. And then you're gonna remember that axis forward position. Okay, so we're not sitting back here into a child's pose position. Axis forward just a little bit, active through the heels, toes are tucked, active through the elbows, head is lengthened, and in this position, we go through our breathing. Breathing in for one, two, three, four, and exhale. Exhalation is when you're checking in with all those postural components. Did you forget any piece? Mine is the head here. And then breathing in again, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, Last breath in, two, three, four, exhale. Everything is lengthening as you get ready to prepare the apnea. And breathing in. This is a very challenging pose, and you can see if you spend several cycles there, that would be a really good workout for your upper body. Next position is lower down. So if you have a problem with your shoulders, this one might not feel comfortable, just don't do it. If it doesn't feel good, if it's challenging, that's fine. You're creating a triangle with your elbows and also your hands. There is no pressure through your head on the floor. So if you are feeling pressure into your forehead, or neck, don't do this one. You should be able to rest your head on that triangle with no pressure coming into it. And that would look like that pressure. The way that you do that is you're actively pushing those forearms and elbows into the floor. Remember your axis forward, active through the heels, and in this lengthening through the back of the neck, and then we do our breathing here. Breathing in, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Last, exhale, two, three, for prepare the apnea. Very good. 